Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a bit of a different video, but I'm just going to be giving you some tips on how... <sighs> our breath. I'm basically going to be giving you tips on how to pass your driving theory test um, first time. I know probably a lot of people watching aren't subscribed, but please subscribe because... I'm a lot of fun, you know? I would if I was you. I'm not gonna ramble, I'm just gonna get in to the tips because I know that's what you're here for. So let's go. Okay, first things first, I'll explain what the, happens in the driving theory test. So basically, you'll be tested on two different categories. You'll be tested on multiple choice and hazard perception. And in the multiple choice section, you'll be uh, expected to get 43 out of 50 of the questions right. So you'll be asked 50 questions, and if you get over 43, you've passed that section. And the hazard perception, you'll be expected to get 44 out of 75 right. And in hazard perception, there'll be 14 videos. And for each video, you have the ability to score five points for each of the videos uh, from five to one. So that's basically what it is. And now let's just get into the tips. So to start with, don't panic, because when I started my test, I was like, I was doing all the online tests trying I like I had like less than a week to my test and I was really panicking I was thinking I'm not going to pass I'm not going to pass I can't answer any of these right but trust me even if you think you're answering all your practice questions and you think you're not going to pass honestly trust the process because you know more than you think you know like you've been answering these questions and you probably do know a lot more than you think so just don't panic first of all and don't try and push your test back because you have to pay more money if you do and obviously with covid there's a lot of delays and you really want to pass first time like there's a lot of pressure on us to pass first time so just don't panic just follow these tips and you should be fine okay so the first thing i'm going to tell you to get is this app here so the other apps that are free are probably all right like i don't know i i was using a free app for a while and i didn't really like it so i did get this for 4.99 but it's it's worth it it's such a good app so basically get this app no matter like how long you've got until your test if you get the app it will really help okay so when you open the app you'll be put onto this page and basically you'll get a theory test hazard perception highway code and road signs so my first tip is to not well you can read the highway code but I would advise not even bothering because it just didn't help me. There's too much in the highway code for you to learn by just reading. You need to do more like active revision. So basically the highway code will look like this and it literally just has like everything you need to know. And as you can see, there's a lot. And just if you want to stretch yourself out, try and read that, but I really wouldn't. Um, so what I, what I did to pass first time is I went straight into theory test. And I know a lot of people like to go straight into the mock test, but if you have time, I would honestly just do practice all questions, uh, all categories, click select, and then just keep going. Whenever you have a free moment, start going all categories. And then when you come to what I did the day of my test, I hadn't, I'd completed probably 80% of all categories. So I still had 20% left. I had a few hours before my test. So what I did, I went on each um, section. So I'd click this, start, and then I'd put, and then all questions I'd put, previously answered incorrectly and questions not seen yet so that I knew I was going to see all the questions that I had not possibly seen um, in the test so then I did that on every category that I hadn't answered 100% of the questions on and that meant right before the test I'd answered all of my questions another thing that's really helpful is just when you're driving with your family or like with your dad your mom whatever look around at the road signs like I can't stress enough that the road signs that are good you're going to be tested on are all around like honestly just look around and be like okay that means junction ahead that means at dead end like ask if you don't know the sign what the sign means ask your parents because they probably will know if you don't if they don't know research it like go on road signs so on road signs if you see one that you've gone past and you don't know what it is there's a section called find a find a sign you can scroll down you can find something like it oh i saw that now you know what it means park and ride okay so that's how you can find road signs you see on the road and just make it more active and, and another tip is a lot of the questions in the actual exam are so like simple like you think you're going to go in and not know anything like trust me i really didn't know anything about driving i didn't know anything about cars i never paid attention i was all on my phone no like you're going to go in and it's literally going to be like oh someone's lying on the road dead like what do you do and it's obviously there's there's four answers and one of them will be like move them like no it'll be call an ambulance that's the first thing you do and it's like common sense so don't worry because probably 20 cent to 30 percent of your questions are going to be like common sense and you're going to know and you've oh you've got a lot of wiggle room seven answers wrong you might not think that's a lot but it is like as long as you do a lot of revision seven answers is quite 
um, a lot of wiggle room. Oh, wiggle room. Sorry, that's really weird. My last tip for multiple choice is before you go in, um, just take a mock test. Just do it and take as many as you can. Like, you have a whole um, hour to answer all these questions. Like, don't rush. But also, I was literally completing 50 questions in 20 minutes. Like, it's a... When... I can't stress enough, like, a week before, I was like, I'm never going to be able to do this. I'm never passing. I haven't passed once. And then, like, as soon as you get in the day, like, I got two two questions wrong. So you have to, like, really understand that that, that week or, like, a few days before you, before you test, like, you can make a big difference. Like, you really can. Okay, for now for Heather... Now for Hazard Perception, um, I don't want to keep telling you just to use the app. So Hazard Perception, basically, how it works is you'll be seeing this, like, video... You'll be shown this video, sorry, and um, you have to click the mouse when you think there's an emerging hazard. And if you click the mouse, as soon as you see the hazard, you get five points. And then if you click it a bit later, four, a bit later, three, a bit later, two, one, until um, until obviously it's gone. Uh, and I always wanted to know, like, how many clicks can I do? You cannot do one, two, three, four, five. So you can't do click in a pattern and you can't do over, I think it's ten clicks. So don't do over ten clicks, whatever you do. I would keep it safe and do about seven clicks. Um, and what I would do, if I saw, don't click for every single hazard you see. Click for one that could cause a potential accident. And in the actual video, it's more, it's easier to see, like, that that would cause an accident. Um... And when you see that potential hazard and you know, oh, that's it, click one, two, and click twice in that section so you have the most amount of chance to get that hazard right when it needs to be get got. So I would always click twice when you think you see the hazard. Don't just leave it up to one and leave it up to chance. Like, definitely click twice. So you'll be shown, obviously, 14 videos. And in each video, there'll be, like, one emerging hazard. And then in one of the videos, there'll be two. Um, and a way to practice this is you can either look up on YouTube like hazard perception and it will show you loads of hazards that you could be faced with um, and just watch and you can pretend to be clicking or if you do get the app you can go onto the practice section and there'll be loads and loads of things that you can um, do and all you've got to do is go on oh I see hazard click 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 don't click 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 but you get the concept and make sure Basically, when I started Hazard Perception, I was literally getting two points out of the five. And I would just go over, 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 over the same clip until I would get that five star. Just so I knew, okay, that's when I need to be clicking. And to be honest, I haven't got much else to tell you. Just make sure you're practicing in the car. Um, on the way to the test centre, don't stress yourself up too much. Don't be on the app going, oh, 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 I'm getting this wrong, I'm getting this wrong. I would honestly just sit back, look at the signs, talk to your parents, be like, okay, what would I do if that happened? Or, like, make it more, um, like, conversational right before the test because you don't want to stress yourself out so yeah i really hope this helped and if you have any questions please ask them down below because i'm actually quite good if i use it myself no i'm joking but i will try and help so yeah please make sure you like and subscribe and i hope this video was helpful and yeah see you later